Hello everyone. Today we will see some of end terms of an AP. There is a small story behind it. There was a mathematician Gauss. When he was just ten years of age, his teacher told him to do the sum of first hundred numbers. And within few seconds, he did it and shown to her. On her surprise, the answer was correct. She asked him, "How did he do it?" Let us see what he had done. First, he had taken sum of first hundred numbers. See here, I have written it in the first equation. He has not written all the one plus two plus three plus four in this way. He has just written first few numbers and the last few numbers. In the second case, he has taken the same numbers but just in the reverse order. Hundred plus ninety nine and so on, and at the end he has written one, correct? And then he added both the equations. So s plus s it became two s, and this one plus hundred it became one zero one. Look at the last term here, hundred plus one it became one zero one. But how many times one zero one? It came hundred times. Hundred times it means that hundred into one zero one. This two, which was multiplying here, it came down to divide, and after cancellation, two ones are. This is two fifty. Fifty into one zero one, his answer came as five zero five zero. Right? Exactly the same way we can find out sum of n terms. Let us see how to get the formula for that. First. We have written here sum of n terms is equal to first term, second term, third term till the nth term. In the second case, the same thing we have written just in the reverse order, right? Now let us see this one. Sum of n terms equal to first term is a, second term is a plus d, and nth term is a plus n minus one into d. In the second case, exactly the reverse thing I have written here. See? Nth term first and first term at the end, and then did the addition. Sum of n terms we are getting two times here now. If we add the first term and this one, the addition comes as two a plus n minus one into d. If you see the ending terms here, the addition of them is also coming same. But how many times this same addition is coming? That we don't know, right? It comes for n number of times. That's the reason we have written here n. Now this two which was multiplying here, it came down to divide, and we are getting the formula here as sum of n terms is equal to n by two in the bracket two a plus n minus one into d, right? Let us see one more thing here. The same formula I have written here. Instead of two a, I have written a plus a. A is the first term, but look at this one. Remaining things. That is the formula for nth term. So instead of that, I have written nth term. Correct? Nth term it means what? The last term. So in the formula I wrote sum of n terms which is equal to n by two. In the bracket a plus l. Now, in short, the formula for sum of n terms we can use according to the situation, according to the given things. Whenever they will give you the first term and the common difference, you can find out sum of n numbers with this formula. And whenever they will give you the first term and the last term. we will use this formula right i hope all of you understood how to get these formulas right thank you